Hi everyone, now I'm going to show you how to remove some correlated attributes from your dataset so that they are no longer redundantly represented in your data. Okay, so sometimes we encounter situations like we have multiple attributes that are really close to one another, meaning that that are correlating too high with one another. So that means the same essence of the object that we are, uh, we are dealing with is captured by both of these or multiple of those attributes, right? Therefore, they are redundant. They contain redundant information. So in order to decrease the dimensionality of my data, what I can do is to first check and see the highly correlated values and then remove some of them so that my dimensionality is decreased. Okay, so one thing that you can do in Rapid Miner is that you can define correlation threshold. And after that, with that, by using it, you can remove the features that are correlated with each other that are higher than the set threshold. In order to do that, we are going to use the remove correlated attributes value uh, operator. But let's see, first of all, let's see how we can, um, how we can create a correlation matrix. First of all, I'm going to require a data set. For that, I'm going to use the iris data set. Uh, let's now create, let's now take a, a multiplication operator. Yeah. So that I will be able to apply multiple operations on the same data set without tampering with it. And first of all, I'm going to check the correlation matrix. Okay, I'm going to connect these one another. Let's go ahead and run the process so that we see the correlation matrix. Um, yeah, so we have four attributes in the iris data sets and this matrix shows me how these are, uh, how these are correlating with one another. If you take a look at the diagonal cells here, all correlations are set to one because these are basically A1 correlating with A1 or A2 correlating with A2. So these attributes are correlating perfectly with one another because they are the same. And on the other hand, we see some values here. So the more, the higher these values, the closer they are to one, and the, um, the more they correlate with one another. Okay, so one thing that I notice here right away is that A4 correlates with A3 in a great deal, okay, 0.96 correlation. Let's go back to the design and use the remove correlation, remove correlated variables, uh, remove. Yeah, the operator is called remove correlated attributes. And let's check the parameters of that. Uh, so, okay, we would like to set a threshold. So what I'm saying right now is that the correlation, if the correlation between multiple values is higher than 0 0.95, then remove one of them. Let's go and run this. Okay, now we have the correlation matrix again. Remember, we had one uh, correlating, uh, one correlation value, which was above the set threshold, 0 0.96. So that's going to, one of these attributes is going to be removed. Let's also check the uh, remove correlated attributes outcome. There you go. Now we see that we have three dimensions left. So A4 is removed. All right, so this is one of the ways that you can apply for dimensionality reduction. But now we are going to also see the principal component analysis, which is um, in a sense different than this, but in the end it also uh, yields a reduced dimensionality of your data. So we will discuss that later.